Hey everybody, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And yeah, I want to try a little something. This is my personal challenge, and we're going to put it here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube channel. Um, it's 30 days of WrestleMania. Now, it might not be 30 consecutive, but we'll try to get it done here. We have 34 days of this count on this day after Fastlane. And uh, I started it off talking about, of course, the original WrestleMania. There it is. Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, ready to rock and roll, looking more buff than they probably have any right to. Um, and, of course, this is where it started. It started in Madison Square Garden and looks, for the most part, like any other Madison Square Garden show that you have seen on WWE Network. And there's lots of them on there if you've been checking it out. Um, but there's so much. And, and, and this is where it begins. If you get mad about all the all the stars in Hollywood invading your pro wrestling, you really need to blame WrestleMania 1. Because let's be honest, this is where it started. This is where, you know, we're get we have we have Cindy Lauper coming out with uh with the ladies, right? Against Five Mula, Leon and Kai and everything. Um you you have Liberace coming out. You have uh, uh, uh Billy Martin coming out to ring announce. Um and if you don't know who these are and, and I barely know who some of these guys are. They're saying he's one of the greatest uh, baseball managers with the Yankees. Um, Muhammad Ali, at least you should know Muhammad Ali at ringside. I mean, this is the pinnacle uh, at the time. Nobody had had done anything. This is all old hat to us now, of course, but nobody had done anything to this effect. You know, Mr. T getting involved in a wrestling match, you know? Um, we've had bits and pieces where, you know, Ali got involved in a wrestling match, you know, they've had boxer versus wrestler matches, but anything on this end, and I know it doesn't look, doesn't feel as big, especially compared to the big giant things that we see today with Re WrestleMania 29, 30 in the stadiums with 80,000 people, right? Um, but this is very, very significant. Even, I mean, just looking at this, Pat Patterson. Now, up and down on this card, you know, a lot of it's very forgettable. Junkyard Dog uh, losing by a count out to Greg Valentine for the Intercontinental title, for instance. The Executioner played at the time by Buddy Rose against Tito Santana opening up. And of course, the great moments that you hear about ad nauseum. Uh, Special Delivery Jones against King Kong Bundy in the nine-second pinfall. I mean, this stuff, it, this, is, this is history. And it's great to kind of watch it through um, not packaged in the WrestleMania rewinds, you know, not just dropping you into that bit with whatever context they want to. It's actually watching it in this full thing, uh, watching the when they're not ready for uh, technical issues, watching um, Lord Alfred Hayes of TNT fame, Tuesday Night Titans, which I can now watch on network is amazing. Um, just looking so awkward as he's standing by the entrance as people come out in front of him uh, to the ring. Um, it, it, it's a different animal, and of course, just like, you know, two years later at WrestleMania 3, we got the giant spectacle, right? Um, and it was kind of pretty much off from there. Uh, I, I, I'm really looking forward to see how this develops over time. Uh, WrestleMania 2 is up next, and I'll have plenty to say about that, I'm sure, because it was a curious experiment. Um, but this is, again, it looks like all the shows at the time. It's before we brightened up how things looked. It was a dark arena. It's a you know full jam-packed, as Grill Monsoon and Jesse Ventura would say, uh, Madison Square Garden. But you wouldn't know, because it's dark, and they, they, they blackened everything out. Um, which I think kind of takes away a little bit from that. I don't know, maybe adds a mystique a little bit, but 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 kind of takes away from the grandness of it all. Uh, Rockets in there—that was another thing I thought was really funny. Um, and the other thing, I, this is curious. Like this is back when Jesse Ventura and Gorilla Monsoon seemed like they were buddies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, later they, they, you know, Jesse being the 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 greatest like you know heel commentator, uh, one of the greatest uh, of all time. You know, he's become more and more angry, and this like eh, he's he's very uh, uh, you know contrarian. But uh, you know, they still it still seems like him and Gorilla are kind of buddies and kind of palling around a little bit at ringside as they're watching this tremendous tremendous event. So uh, go check it out. It's on the network. WrestleMania one, the one that started it all, and hope to keep up here. <laughs> Keep me, keep me honest at Sorgatron on the Twitter and check out everything else at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. See you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.